Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to create a retention policy for Microsoft Teams. Let's log into portal.office.com using your admin credentials. Once you successfully log in, you will see this gear icon to navigate to admin portal. If you click show all, you will see all the admin center for that you have access. We will have to go to compliance admin center. There is the direct link as well compliance.microsoft.com. Go to policies. So this is data lifecycle management policy under data you will see retention. Okay, we will create a new policy. Just click on new policy give it any name and provide a description as in you trying to retain the data or you want it to get washed out after certain period of time so that it would be easy for uh, the person who's referring the policy understand what is the purpose behind the policy once you are done click next choose static select a static type of uh, policy and you will see all, all the scope where locations where you can apply your retention policy as in on exchange mailboxes, SharePoint site, Office 365 groups and mailboxes, SFB, Microsoft team channels, chat, private or public messages, Yammer, everything. Here we will learn to create it for Teams chat. For Teams you can select only one option either chat or channel anyone and then once you select you can add include user as well and the second option is to exclude user suppose you want to apply this retention policy for everybody exclude a few then you will go in here and select anybody that will be excluded see this is excluded this one is included so you can add user and include it to include inside policy or exclude once done click next so you can select the lifetime of this policy as in how much duration you want to retain this data and what you want after that period is over. Suppose you want after 7 years the data should get washed out automatically or if you want do nothing keep it as it is. Hold it like that only we will do it manually. So decide and then once you are done click next. Just review your policy once you find it good click on submit and your policy will be created so this was it guys thank you very much for listening please do like share and subscribe